Today we're going to be looking at another video by Mr. Green or Nile Green. This one is on Mark Rober's Glitter Bomb 7.0, or as it says, just a small nib. Now this video was actually re-uploaded by another channel called VY Candice Majoris. And this one's been heavily requested ever since I uploaded the Nile Red Reactions Be Like video. If you haven't seen that one already, I'll pin that one in the comments. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Tyler Fulce. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry, from engineering to operations to emergency response. I don't claim to know everything there is nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. First enemy, they steal all my packages. Problem is, I don't know how to make better high class explosives. So last week I tweeted my home address. This is so well edited. <laughs> These people all claiming to be my neighbors showed up at my house. It's hard to see, but someone here was secretly a porch pirate. <laughs> this man gave away his position when he uncrouched it. He, he then stole my vape package. That base. <laughs> That's right, you just won a prize. Awesome, you know, I thought I was a thief for a second there. Let me open up this. Not a bomb. Hmm. Why does it say not a bomb? Because it isn't a bomb. <laughs> Cold. Will you hurry the fuck up? What am I supposed to do with this? To the bomb at your house over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what even was that? <laughs> god. Oh man. Oh god. Oh man. Oh god. Wait, that's not my house. My neighbors are better package thieves than I thought, but I have a solution. Here, try to spot the issue in this video. One, not enough glitter. Two, not enough fart spray. <laughs> or three, I wasn't there to kick their ass and arrest them. It's number four. Hi, I want to buy Nile Green. It's your boy Nile Green. Please help I with- <laughs> What? What is this? Sold against my- Anyway, it's your boy Mark Robot here, and I just illegally bought a human being. I've always found chemistry very difficult. It's not because I'm bad. It's because Nile Green wasn't in my basement earlier. Can someone tell me what day it is? He's really good at chemistry and will be a huge help in making the new glitter bomb for this year. The first attempt spontaneously combusted without reason. The second attempt decomposed. And the third It's like a parody of a parody. We found the formula for the highest class of explosive pop. Even the military failed to make this. The reason it's so- Now classes of explosives I'm not too familiar exactly what he means. I know the uh, Department of Transportation has different types, but mainly just so you know what it is. It's not like there's necessarily a hierarchy. Like you have your explosives, your liquids, your gases that are flammable, your flammable solids, oxidizing substances, and so on and so forth. But I'm not sure what that means. It could be completely made up difficult to make is because you need Nile Green. His set of professionally crafted skills and precise methods are of utmost priority in making explosives. Oh no. Watching him work is like watching a spider make its beautifully perfect silk web without a single error. Well, I'm <laughs> the solution is now- Human centrifuges. I wonder how many Nile Reds you would need in order to enrich uranium for a nuclear power plant. I know you need several hundreds into the few thousand of real ones, but maybe this one's more efficient. He makes you wonder, how does he do it? There, Flip the please. table. Finally, I have the final yield of explosives. And now we're proud to present Glitter Bomb 5.0. It's just a glitter bomb, but without the glitter. <laughs> yeah. The first to prank is this man over here. He doesn't know it, but he was just about to steal a package from my porch. Now we- <laughs> Now we're getting into some minority report pre-crime division. Giving him a package containing the world's best surprise. Did they just block that house? And that's plus one point towards being best uncle. It's 2023 and for the new year of glitter bonds. Now Green has been working really hard. Can someone tell me what year it is? And now we're proud to present Glitter Bomb 6.0. It's just a nuke in a box. I don't know how yet. <laughs> a nuke in a box. In case you're wondering, there really was a small nuke used in real life. This was back during the Cold War, of course, when a lot of crazy nuclear weapons were integrated. Though. This one's a little bigger than the obviously photoshopped one was in, in this video. And here's how you launch it. Had a yield of about 20 tons of TNT, which 
nothing compared to even the bombs that were used on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, but this is a, considering this could be fired by a person on the ground, this figures out to an instant kill radius of about 160 meters for this weapon. Plus, dose would be more severe since this would be a ground burst weapon since it's clearly just a little bit of pocket artillery for a person. So if you think about dose per yield, this would cause a lot more contamination compared to the air burst weapons that were used during World War II. Yeah, so there is actually some basis for this. Now, it'd still be big. You'd have to have a really big box to put your, uh, put your glitter bomb in, but technically not unheard of, which is a sobering thought did it he won't tell me and i'm really fucking scared of him now i don't want a radioactive nuke on my porch so i accidentally shipped it to the wrong address and i <laughs> so I now as for the real weapon it was tested and it was term determined that it wouldn't have that much of a of an effect on the operators of the weapon now people on the receiving end well obviously yes but considering this this small device was well shielded enough Right, they are package thieves. They stole my package and took it inside. I hope you all enjoy the beautiful carnage of science and engineering creating a sun in this thieves house. <laughs> all right, that that nuke wouldn't be that powerful, and this is this is funny. <laughs> It's now 2024, and you won't believe what we did for Glitter Bomb 7.0. It's just a bigger nuke in a box. Now, is that that's that's the same picture? I'd be it shrunk to fit in this sort of box, but that's that's funny. Got a few negative comments on our last video. I'm um, actually this was very rude. You singed my eyeballs. My backyard has nuclear fallout law. Apparently, <laughs> the blast affected some people who were not actually package thieves. So Nile Green advised us to drive to a more remote town to test it. There was also a really cool train in the distance, so thought we'd get a closer look at it. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. <laughs> Tommy was. <laughs> Autopilot. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, this is from Super 8. Okay. What's bothering you, Mark? You hit me with a train. I did not. Then who did it? It was me. That was quite silly. Again, just like the previous one of Mr. Green's videos, there is actually a tiny bit of basis of reality in this, which is... I don't, I'm actually not sure what to feel about that now. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.